Before starting this video and showing you the best way to reproject details in ZBrush, I would like to make you aware of this plugin that exists for ZBrush called ZWrap. It works on the basis that you choose points from your base mesh, from your low poly mesh and your high poly mesh and then it reprojects it in a wonderful way. I'll leave the link in the description below and you can use this instead of reprojecting. Anyway, let's check out one of the best ways, well, the best way I found to reproject in ZBrush. So I have a high poly mesh with 200,000 polys and a low poly mesh with 16,000 polys. And I want to work with subdivisions on my mesh. So I created a little macro here, project higher. And this will help me projecting the details from the high poly mesh into the low poly mesh here in ZBrush. In the end of the video, I'll show you how to do this macro. If you're not interested in that, you can just go to the description and download this macro. All this is doing is dividing in a protective way, storing a morph target and then projecting all the details. One thing to keep in mind is that you have to keep your high poly mesh visible while you do this and select your low poly mesh, the one you want to project the details on. So as soon as I got that, one thing that I want is to select my morph brush, B, M, O. Now I come up here and press project higher. Now you can come to project and change some of these settings to get a better projection depending on the, the mesh that you're using. I'm just gonna leave it as default and show you how do I do this process. So I'll press project higher. It's gonna go up a res uh, high resolution and project all the details. And then usually in the eyes in these more complex areas, you're gonna have trouble like this. And this is why I activated my morph brush in the first place. Because now I can just come here and use my morph brush and kind of fix these areas. Usually inside the eye, there's always a problem there. The lips, the nose, there's usually the areas that give you more problems, especially the bit of the lips. You can also press shift and use your smooth brush. So now that I fix these areas, I can go and project the eye again. And I come back here, still have my morph brush active. I just can either use my morph brush or my smooth brush. And now smoothing and smooth these details out. You can also use your move brush sometimes, it, it helps. B, M, V. And you can keep repeating this process until you have a resolution that you're happy with. After you get to the eyes subdivision, you can simply start working on your mesh here. Go to project and keep projecting this if you like. This macro is an adaptation of my protect divide macro. If you want to find out more about that macro, go to the description below and I'll link the video for it. So before we start recording, make sure you have a stored morph target. Then we go to macro, new macro, say no, delete your morph target, store your morph target, come up to divide, press divide, go to a lower resolution, switch morph target, high resolution, delete morph target, store morph target and project. Now we can end macro and save your macro in Pixelogic your ZBrush version, Z Startup Macros MISC. Now you can go to Preferences, Enable Customize, go to your macro, look for your macro, Control Alt, and you can drag it anywhere in your interface. Preferences, turn Enable Customize off, Start Config, and next time you open ZBrush, your Protect Higher macro will be there. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Press the bell symbol for new videos. Help me on Patreon or Gumroad and I'll see you on the next one.